Doki Baba waiting the soap. Only now work the soap. It's been a busy week. How are you? Doki, I did fine no, but I get question. Hmm, only. I still have a lot I'm working on at the moment too. But shoot. Doki no vex. Remember that my neighbor picking way a toxic get sickle cell. I go to my neighbor's house to go collect something for his hand. Now I see the boy for one corner for house. If they breed one kind, one kind, if they breed fast, the whole chest. And as if they breed, I they hear that sound, that, that sound where you talk, say, eh, those we get asthma, that sound where then they get when then they breathe. Eh, what is the name? They know wheezing. Eh, eh, doki, wheezing. And now I come to wonder, say, this picking get asthma, join sickle cell, we get. Hmm. It's possible. A number of studies have shown that there is an increasing risk for those with sickle cell disease to develop asthma. However, the direct relationship between the two diseases has not been clearly understood. Now, wow, Doki, sickle cell and all the problem way they cause never reach. Well, Kunle, as I've said before, sickle cell disease is a complex disease with a lot of challenges in its care. And one of the concerns would be that one of the major complications that can occur is what we call acute chest syndrome, which can mimic asthmatic symptoms. Which one be chest waiting? I'll be waiting you talk, Doki. Well, Kunle, due to the sickle cells that we have talked about before, there could be a problem with the lungs being able to exchange the gases, exchanging oxygen and carbon dioxide, and this can cause difficulty breathing, chest pain, wheezing, low oxygen levels, and it's actually a very serious condition that requires that the person is admitted and given special care. Naturally, those who have sickle cell disease coexisting with asthma may likely have an overlap of these symptoms when they present to the hospital. Ah, Doki, how person won't come join the treatment of the two together? Well, firstly, it is important for a child with sickle cell disease who appears to be having repeated episodes of what looks like acute chest syndrome to be evaluated for asthma to be certain whether asthma is also existing with the sickle cell disease. Both of them can be managed side by side, but of course, it's pretty challenging. Now, wow, Doki, may God help all these children and people who get sickle cell disease, oh, and make all these people, may, may they open their ear, may they hear us when we they talk, say make ASA and AS no marry you. Oh. Well, Kunle, we can only keep advocating. Preventing an ASAS couple from having a child with sickle cell disease is a very expensive and complex process. IVF with pregenetic diagnosis, with the repeated hormonal injections that the woman has to take, and a lack of guarantee at the end of the day makes it so complex and not too many people can afford it. Even cure is possible. But how many people can afford stem cell transplant, getting the right donor or gene therapy and the other things that we do in attempt to cure the disease? And mind you, a cure of sickle cell disease doesn't mean taking away the complications that may have already occurred like avascular necrosis and so on. So Kunle, a marriage between an ASAS couple is best avoided. Okay Doki, we go to sing them they go, make people know their genotype. And those we find out say their genotype be AS, may then make sure say they no get picking with petting way the AS. So I will go stop to the bond this picking, then we get sickle cell. To come con this life with they had already. To come they live another hard life again. Make a free you to do your work, Doki. Thank you, Kunle. See you later. We go to see.